What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome to another episode of my Path to Power. We're episode number three right now on Sunday the 15th of September. September. This is the day that the web app was actually supposed to go live. However, obviously I've got episode one and episode two up already because it went live on Friday. That meant that we're a little bit farther ahead of the curve. You can see curve. You can see at the top 6,554 coins. I've got some cards that I've picked up. This guy plays for Monaco. Monaco players, I think, are going to be in high demand. Now, why will they be in high demand? Because you got the likes of Falcao, James Rodriguez, Jean Moutinho, and frankly, they just have some players. And they're a big name team now. So if they end up having a few decent silver players, those guys for their links and chemistry probably gonna sell on you can see i bought quite a few players as well look at my beastly team I've got three gold players now that's just my starter team and that team will probably never actually see a game for me unless of course you guys would like me to or like to see me play and try with one starter team but generally that's just not my style because i think that chemistry is far too important now i named this team uh, perspective something, uh, ERD, maybe for Eredivisie, uh, because I bought a bunch of Eredivisie players. Now, essentially, I'm trying to throw you guys for a little bit of a loop, because I don't want you guys to jump on, well, Japes is going to use a silver team from the Mexican League or a silver team from the uh, Dutch Eredivisie, and I'm going to go out and buy the players and essentially jack up their price. So every day, I will probably be trading with a different team until the early release. And then that will probably be the team that I hold on to. So I'll probably put the players into a squad just like this, show you who I have or what I'm looking at. And you guys can take a look and say, hey, man, that guy actually looks pretty good. Maybe I'll go out and pick him up. I don't know if Japes is going to use him or not, but I might try him. Or you're going to be like, yo, if Japes uses that guy, his price might skyrocket and that's something that I want, might want to invest in. So I'm not going to tell you guys what team I'm going to be using. I'm not telling anybody what my plans are for teams because I don't think it's fair. And I want it to be as essentially fair as possible uh, when it comes to, I don't know, when it comes to when we actually get started playing some freaking games, which I can't wait to do right now. I feel like the web app being out a full week in advance is just is kind of trolly because I want to get in there and I want to play some games. We're listing a lot of the guys. You can see we bought 300, selling for 500, things like that. It doesn't really make me loads of coins, but at least my coins are out there doing something for me. I'm going to be making a few coins here, a few coins there, and all in all, that generally means that I'm getting more coins than I am... Uh, well, then I'm losing. At least they're doing something for me. They're not just sitting there stale. And you know, making 150 coins, 100, 200 coins, you know, a bit, kind of one of the best ways to think about trading is you, tra you take a lot of average deals and eventually the killer deal comes along. And that is the bang on truth about it because I'm going to take these average deals and the next thing you know, I'm going to be looking around through silvers like I have been and that's largely just because the gold markets, I don't know, it kind of bored me. I just wasn't interested and I like looking at silver players being like, oh, this guy's going to be a beast. If you've been around my channel for a long time, you'll know that I love playing with silver players probably more than any other group of players in Ultimate Team, uh, but uh, that trading advice... If I sit and look at silver players and take average deals for long enough, the next thing you know, I'm going to get like, a, I'm going to see like an Igbang Lahore or something like that for 10K, snap him up and boom, I'm 50K, 60K, 100K, however much he sells for richer. I have no idea. I'm just assuming that 10K is low for Igbang Lahore right now and that his price will indeed go up. Uh, I think I went ahead and picked up, did I pick up that Piazon right there? I'm not sure. Uh, but... I don't think I picked him up quite yet, no. But you can see a lot of my auctions cards are selling on. Happy days. 500 coins here, 500 coins there. You can see my coin total is steadily starting to creep up. And this is about to get to the point where I'm going to start taking some risks. Now, it's only Sunday, and there are plenty of days until the early release comes out, which should be on Friday for those of us in the States, a few days later for those uh, in Europe. Now, I got asked this yesterday a couple times as well. I will be doing a live stream as soon as I can. Well, not maybe as soon as I can get my hands on the web app. I might play a game or two, but then I promise you guys I will get a live stream up and running so you guys can check out and experience the full game with me. 
If you want to follow my account on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash you can click follow so that it'll send you an email when I go live. You can do that. I'll leave the link in the description down below. But this guy was interesting. It keys a 69 pace, 76 defending, 75 heading. I saw him and I thought, yeah, that's probably one of the better silver center backs in La Liga. I'm going to pick him up. Same thing for this Ujkani. Now, he doesn't get great links, but those are fantastic keeper stats. And he's probably one of the best silver keepers in the Serie A. So I'm going to go ahead and list him up because inevitably someone is going to want to have the best silver keeper in the Serie A and they're going to be like ah the difference between the guy that looks a little bit worse and the guy that's the best keeper is only 400 coins or something like that I think I'll go ahead and take the guy that's 400 coins uh Ruben Garcia right here 83 pace 80 dribbling picked him up for 400 coins 73 rated silver Spanish left mid now La Liga silvers have never really been something to write home about but I thought, hey, this is going to be a good guy to pick up. So I'm going to give him a shot. Same thing. Mr. Johnson on the screen right here. I paid 1,100 coins for him. And I'm going to go check because I thought that was kind of risky. And for whatever reason, when I bought him, I was still thinking that QPR was in the BPL. Boom. That was a big mistake. They've obviously been demoted to the championship. However, the championship team, championship silvers traditionally are known to be quite popular, or at least there are people that want to build those teams. So I went out and I checked him. He's got very, very well-rounded stats for his silver. But you can see his prices, nothing really to write home about. Not really too special. And that's kind of a bummer. And I was like, ah, I made a mistake on this. So I'm going to list him for probably just a couple hundred coins more. Hope that those lower rated ones sell and that mine will be next in line for someone to buy. So 1,500 coins. Now, I went out on a limb here, 2,000 coins, but I think this guy probably the best silver CDM in the Serie A. Now, with him being the best silver CDM in the Serie A, I think somebody is going to eventually want him. He's got ridiculously good stats. He's got over 80 pace, and then he's got mid-70s passing, defending, and dribbling, which makes him essentially just an all-around beastly looking silver and a guy that I think I might be able to make some coins on. Now, I picked up Abina uh, from the Russian League as well because he's got very good stats for silver right mid and I kind of got worried that he might not sell because I went and looked and his prices were varying from 600 to 2,000 because people obviously saw the stats as well and were like, yeah, this is going to be a good player even though Russian silvers are traditionally, or Russian League silvers are traditionally not a very, uh, well, some of them are sought after. You've got your Brazilians, uh, Brazilian silvers from the Russian league that will always be sought after. But you can see Abina right there, 900. I was like, ah, oh, come on. I can't believe I, I can't believe I missed on this guy. I thought that was for sure a deal. I hadn't seen one of them up on the market before. And this is me really just guessing. But you can see I paid 600 or 500 coins, 600 coins for him. If I sell him for 750, that's fine. I'm going to try to sell him for 950 to begin with and hope the other cards go away. If and when he sells, great. I'll make another couple coins, coins on a thousand, a couple hundred coins on him. Happy days. And these, I'm just looking at the Eredivisie players again. Going to throw some bids out there because the Eredivisie was kind of one of the leagues I was sort of checking out. I did the Mexican League uh, in the video before that. That was kind of one of the leagues that I was checking out. You can see I did pick up that Lucas Piazon right there. And I picked him up largely for his namesake. I think I paid 33,000 coins, 3,500 coins, undoubtedly, just because of... Uh, I guess how hyped he is in real life, his price is going to go up once the actual game comes out. That's just the way of the world with some of these cards in Ultimate Team until someone says, you know what, I paid like 5k for this guy, not worth it, his stats don't do it. But until that time, I'm happy buying him for 3.5k and selling him for 4.5k and making, you know, almost a thousand coins on him. And I inevitably think that he will indeed sell for that price. Now we're on to, I think, maybe the next day. Or no, I'm going to go ahead now list up all of the really cheap Mexican silvers that I've been holding on to before. The, all the ones that I picked up for about 150 coins that have some pretty good stats. Uh, center backs with over 70 pace that are non rare that you you can get for 150 coins chances are you're going to be able to sell them for a buy now 350 400 now trading non-rare silvers i think is super risky this year because their their formation cards just don't matter so if somebody wants a non-rare silver there are already tons of them out there on the marketplace and they're going to be really really easy to go pick up I wanted to do an ep uh, on silvers for you guys, and that's what this essentially was. I'll be moving on to golds or maybe even have a play with some of the bronzes coming up here just because I want to show you guys basic trading stuff that I think 
will kind of help you out and show you guys you don't have to make tons of coins and you can just kind of trade at your own pace as well and trading at your own pace as long as you're making coins it's going to be happy days for you uh once the actual game drops because undoubtedly many of you guys are going to actually spend some fifa coins or fifa points on packs and see who you get in there as well i'm sure that i'll do that that'll be on my main account though that won't be on my path to power account as you guys know uh traditionally with path to power i'm a start from the bottom and hope to get all the way to the top uh started from the bottom now i should never ever do that again yeah that's not gonna happen again anyways guys we're gonna be coming to a close of this video if you guys would like to see another episode of path to power out today go ahead and leave a like or thumbs up on this video it helps me it helps me gauge what you guys are exactly looking for on my channel i don't want to overdo path to power and overdo trading though uh and if we do another episode later it'll probably be a bit quicker of an episode rather than these longer rants and rambles about trading but i sincerely want to thank you guys very very much for watching thank you guys for your support if you haven't already click that subscribe button on my channel so you do not miss a part of this journey uh, other than that my name is Japes and I will catch you all next time